Hi, I'm Rado Popescu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to code sign your Inno setup. First, you will need to acquire a valid code sign certificate from a trusted authority. Next, you would want to export your certificate in PFX file format and keep the password within the reach. Next, you need a signing tool. In this case, we use Sign Tools, which is Microsoft built-in digital signature tool available in Windows SDK, which you can download from this web page. While you install the SDK, make sure you select the Windows SDK Signing Tools for desktop apps. Now, from the Inno Setup Compiler, go to Tools and configure Sign Tools. I already have one sign tool defined, but in your case, you can click Add. First, name your sign tool. Next, you need to define the command for the sign tool. Let's break it down a bit. First is the path where sign tool exe is present. Then, sign tells sign tool exe to sign. Slash F followed by the path tells where our purchase certificate is stored on the machine. Location of the PFX file. Slash D followed by the URL. It's used to timestamp. Slash FD specifies the algorithm to be used for encryption. Last but not least, $F represents the Inno setup parameter which tells the compiler to sign the generated setup from the current script. Please keep in mind that all the above parameters are mandatory for a successful code signing. Now click OK and let's go back to our script. In the setup section, add sign tool equals and the name of the sign tool that you defined earlier. Next, save, build and compile your Inno setup. Now right-click on the generated setup, click on Properties, then go to the Digital Signature tab. Here you can check if the signature has been applied. It is. Now to achieve the same in Advanced Installer, simply go to Digital Signature tab, Enable Signing, and here you have multiple options. Either select from the Certificate Store or just a file from the disk. Browse for it and click Compile your application. And that's it.